everything the New World Order does when it comes to false flag propaganda is plotted out long in advance and executed in a ritualistic way. Television is the weapon of the New World Order. It's all part of the conditioning, though. They send you to school. They teach you to respect your teacher who's a fucking retard. You got to do something. You got to find the people who aren't cowards, who aren't pussies, who have brains, who are willing to stand up and fight for themselves. We're ruled over by a bunch of losers, shriveled men, old pathetic men, hiding behind police, hiding behind their television screens and their TV studios and their newspapers. We just got to burn it all down to the ground, you know? All over the world, people need to rise up and put these piece of shit stains to bed. And everybody should be able to say that because it's the truth. There's a war that needs to happen. Peace isn't doing shit. These people are murderers, killers, liars, warmongers, and they need some of their own medicine. to believe give me truth don't need no theory i just need proof your answers are our answers never freeze give nothing new i'm sick of the sea what's up everybody welcome to episode 41 Ch of revival radio my name is rich steve it's your boy the brain so critical mass in this piece like a wedgie how you doing man Doing good, pretty sauced up off the nectar. Yeah! But it's all good. No, I'm not planning on driving anytime soon. No, so. man. So, uh, what was that that they saw in the intro, bro? They, they saw the intro to our upcoming album Ooh. that's going to be out next week, Ooh. actually. Ooh. Murder by Numbers. <clears throat> now, what exactly was that intro for the people that who don't know? That was a little video that I chopped up. Into uh, a dope ass sounding fucking intro, if I do say so myself. Hell yeah! I just chopped it up a little bit of Zach Hubbard, one of his videos, man. One of our mentors, Zachary K. Hubbard on YouTube. Definitely go check, check him out. We've out. talked about him on here numerous times. Perfect way to kick off Murder by Numbers and the era of Murder by Numbers that we are now one week away from. So Yeah, man, like what we're going to do is we're just going to, every every episode, we're yep. going to drop one track. So you guys can check album. it out, man. So one at a time, man, each episode. So there's there's your sprinkly. first one. There's the intro track. Um, So I think we should get right into it, Brain Cell, with the Nectar of the Gods. We got the Boom Sauce, baby. Boom Sauce, tell me something about it. This is 7.8%. Okay. IPA, uh, it's from Woburn, Massachusetts. Woburn from the uh, Lord Hobo Brewing Company. Okay, I mean it's a, it's a it's a sleeper. Simple can, man. Tell them what you were telling me about when you went to go buy it. Yeah, like I seen this and I was like, yo, what is that? I thought it was gonna be some kind of like stout or something, yeah. you know? Because we're so used to the crazy artworks on, mm -hmm. the, on the cans. Yeah, dude, like. Pine like tree Rick just, and shit. It's just simple, man. <clears throat> Sometimes simple's the best. And I gotta say, what's it get, man? Triple flame. Triple flames this all is, around. This is top man. five right here. Definitely. What's it taste like, dude? Hard to even say. Citrusy. You nice. have one. What do you think it? Tastes I like? think it was very bitter, but I liked it, man. Triple flames for sure. Piney, citrusy, yeah. very bitter. Yeah, that's definitely. right up my alley, right there. That's my shit. A little bit, a little bit harsh for my taste, but I still thought it was pretty good. Triple a little flames. harsh for me, but I like it's more an acquired of, taste. I like like the blood orange and, and the grapefruit IPA and stuff like that. I like more of a citrusy. So what 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 you're saying is you have a vagina? That's is exactly that what, what I'm saying. <laughs> that I have a vagina. Fuck you. Anyway, yeah. so who? <laughs> We got for the pro of the week. The pro week, of man. the week, week, week. Now, if you are watching on the Facebook live stream a couple weeks ago, we did episode 39.5. Shout I'll out to the viewers right there. now. Um, <clears throat> we did the Viper as as the pro of the week. But since we didn't put that on YouTube, we want to make sure everybody that subscribes to the channel, my brain cell, if you're not on it, click subscribe. Thank you to the new ones. That this week we have. Vipe, this just is, tie. This is the homie right here, man. We I don't even him. think he goes by Vipe anymore, no. but that's just how we know him. He's out there living in Northern Cali. Woke. 
Straight right now, woke. Straight woke. He we know takes, you watch the channel, man. We see all the comments. Much love, bro. He's known as Captain Naga now. Mm. From the Just Tie, T-A-I on YouTube. Dude I mean, is... Uh, super woke. Super woke. He, he knows exactly uh, what he's talking about. He recently challenged himself to five videos a week. Ooh. Which is doing this shit, man. I know how hard this... Shit is like salute, that's a challenge man. right there. Like salute. I've recently challenged myself to one music video for every month of 2018. Ooh, baby, so, get ready for that shit. If Speaking you know of saying. music videos, how about the brand new CMAS video for Murder by Numbers, the first one off of the new album? Make sure y'all go check that shit out right now. If it's you haven't, if you haven't, you've been sleeping on it. That shit's bomb, man. Brand new program that you used. Yeah, man. And it's making it fire. I'm going to be doing a little re-upload of that <clears throat> to make it full screen. Yeah, dude. But, uh, you know, I'm cut your boys some slack. Speaking of music videos, uh, when we go into the break, we're going to be seeing a video from Vibe uh, for the track Say It Like It Is. Shit's dope. Your boy Vibe. Your boy Brain Cell and your boy Billy Vanilla. Definitely check this that out. This is from back. Um, this is from 2013, man. Damn. This is off like my third Throwback. solo album. Random, random Nervous boys. System. So uh, throughout this whole episode, we're gonna be dropping little uh, songs that I did. Your boys with the uh, the main man Vite. Definitely. Um, so you guys can chew on <clears throat> them nuggets. You know so I figured that that this week I want to talk real quick about what we're going to talk about in this episode. Um, we are back at my favorite time of every four years. Is this four years <clears throat> since we did? This, this is this two is years. two years. This is two years. Yeah, every two years. But every like every four years, man, I love the Summer Olympics. But every two, every other year, you know what I'm fucking saying, yeah, dude. Yeah, you yeah. fucked me up. But when when it it's, fucks me up myself, bro. It's like my um, favorite biannual tradition. There we go. The fucking Olympics, dude. I love it because it is the most blatant example of symbolism for the Illuminati and the occult. And occult people rituals. get so wrapped up into it, man. Out the ass. Um, if you've seen our previous video, we we did called Illum Olympics. We talked about the Rio games. And we talked a little bit about Sochi. But this time, we are going to be talking about Pyeongchang. We're going to be talking about the opening ceremonies. We're going to be talking about Sean White and all of the blatant symbolism that they are throwing in our faces every single night. It's it's right in our faces, man. <coughs> At this point, knowing what we've known over the past few years, mm -hmm. it's just it's just laughable, man. Like, it's hilarious, man. Yeah. It's it's so funny. So I definitely wanted to break that down because there is a whole lot of shit to talk about. Whole lot. Um, Lots of nuggets. Now I know that you wanted to talk a little bit about SpaceX. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit more. Uh, Developments that happened with the Elon Musk, SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, Starman bullshit. Nice. So we'll get to that a little bit later, but right now, we're going to take a break, man. We're going to get into that video. Say, say it, it like, like it, it is. is. Also, just one thing of note, uh, Nicholas Jacob Cruz, the man who allegedly killed 17 people yes, at Marjorie yes. Storman Douglas... In Parkside, uh, Florida. We had another hoax today. Yeah, you know, we were just talking about how it's been a while since anything of this nature has gone down, so... I'll put some clips in right now so you can see what we're talking about, you know what I mean? Revival in the meantime, Radio. go check out that, uh, that, uh, Vibe, Vibe John. Be right back. Episode 41, you bitch. Yeah. Yo, when I step in the booth... I'm making it pop, just as Billy and the Vipe, how we kick it at the spot. Uh, I'm talking fat joints, fat blunts. You know we all on point and we all stay up. You know, be yourself, dog. Don't be me, let's do it yourself, bro. You can't beat me. No. Don't act a fool, bitch. You know how my steeds be. Run a cool 16 and spit it like it's easy. easy. Grab a rapper by the neck if he ain't showing respect. Then choke him with the mic cord and finish my set. Uh, smoke a couple bowls, light a cigarette. See us at the shows and they starting to sweat. We 
going in, tell it like it is, and I be real like Cypress Hill Kid. Yo, roll with Billy V and the Bright Man, random boys DIY for life, man. Smoking flavors, rustling papers, fuck the spice, but man. It's just an everyday thing in my life, man. Doing shows, blowing nose, drinking Jack and Coke. No matter how this all ends, I'm going out for broke. Yeah. And I'm just being myself in the words that I wrote. Your bike, take that mic and make these bitches choke. Uh. Riding on my bike. Hang the bullshit up like a chandelier So you can look at the shit I don't fuck with Learn from it and don't forget That I came in this lane with my pain And by the end I'ma make it rain Never gonna change, never gonna change Always keep a bad bitch in range Quit dealing with lames when I want in the same I got it without the fame Like a canker dressed in rags Don't care how I'ma look but I'm all about the cash Don't care who I'ma bag They smug my bag and then they choose to take along I don't see the life I'm living is wrong Rip the bone you would swear I was from Hobby Kong From Philly where they stay playing funeral songs Want nothing to do with your home Try to light it on the sun It's within inches Should I pinch it just to say I did it Caught him in the park but he got it acquitted Don't know who did it but when we did it Niggas couldn't get rid of it Getting hit you know it's tinted Why wipe her when you know you can rent it Why be with them when you can be with us Random boys or take a set the bus Yeah uh, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, time to break it off Random boys DIY, get involved Yeah, I like your clothes, girl, take them off I fuck around with her friends and tell her shake it off uh, I'll leave them wetter than a swimming pool You're probably lying if you think that I'm into you Been high since middle school And I ain't the type of guy to play around with you, little fool Yeah, straight drowning in the marijuana But you got a problem, then I'm pounding in your mom vagina She kinda mad when she find I don't use a kind of well, uh, I'm pretty honest <laughs> But none of my girls believe that nope. I leave her lips dripping like some tree sap Man, another hour, yeah, I'll be that Tell like to roll fight. up, like where the weed at <laughs> Yeah, them random boys, bitch DIY records, it's uh, the, the brain cell Critical brain mass, cell. repping that yeah. shit Hoping you last, uh, It's the random boys, first random, random boys The random boys it's stacks, I'm in the black. It's the viper. Don't be hype. And welcome back to Revival Radio, episode 41. It's your boys, as always, CMAS. Rich Steve. No, we got no distractions, no guests up in here. Brain cell. Comment below right now if you think my grandfather was the best guest that we've Yo, had. Yo, so I far. have to say, man, and the green grass grew all around, all, all around, around, and the, the green, green grass, grass grew all around. around. Let him know you're in the area. So let's yeah. just get right down <laughs> into it, man. Let's talk about the Pyeongchang Winter Games. We're in Seoul, South Korea. South Korea. This is this is a big one because this is you know. On the peninsula where yep. everything is happening right now, where all the talk about Rocket Man and Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un, and now here we are on the peninsula. It's almost so perfect, like they staged it. Exactly, man. Like, think huh. about it. We were on pretty much basically the brink of nuclear war with North Korea. And now and here we are. Here we are, man. The S Alum Olympics Winter Edition. Yes. I want to I want to start with talking about the opening ceremonies then I want to talk about some of the just, sights and sounds It's just blatant occult rituals sights as and usual sounds. and just yeah. like the uh Super Bowl halftime show Exactly you know you watch you watch in the uh the between segments they have a lot of pyramids they have a lot of cubes yes all of this kind of thing that they use time after time all seeing eye illuminati <clears throat> symbolism if you uh, saturn worship go back and watch the previous summer edition for all of that <clears throat> because i'm going to get into what you're seeing this time or what you saw so, the other night yeah tell us what happened the, uh, the other night man so the first thing that uh i want to bring up would be the phoenix symbolism this is one that they do time after time again. Um, they were trying to say that the Korean people don't look at the Phoenix as death and rebirth, that they have a completely different meaning from it. But the fact is, this is the same thing that they same do time shit. after time. It represents the perfect human. 
It's the death of the old human and the rebirth into the new being. Alchemy, which we'll get to in a little bit here. So there's your first one that you're going to see. The next one is one that I noticed that I had to send over to my man Brain Cell right away because I knew that he'd be interested in it. And that would be the CGI dome that they made of the stars over the performers. Uh, you want to take that away? Basically, it was like the Zodiac, you know what I mean? The constellations that we all know. In a dome above the uh, the stage or whatever, you know? The whole world's a stage. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's in your face, blatant, flat earth symbolism, man. Like, right there. in the uh, common... What they teach in school about right. the universe, man. Right. It's not a dome. It's an ever-expanding universe that started from the Big Bang. And you're talking... They're showing you a dome, bro. Basically a snow globe-type situation with the firmament. Mm -hmm. With the, the all the stars projected onto it. It's basically what you see at your uh, planetariums and shit. Yeah, so it was outside looking in. Here it was. And the fact is that... The cosmic in the, egg. In the stadium, that actually wasn't there. It was CGI just for TV. <laughs> um, sort of like in China. Possibility. China know. in 2008, they did CGI footprints from the city to the stadium. You know, I was just watching a video earlier, actually, of the Chinese spacewalk which evidently is one of the biggest evidences of space agencies <laughs> faking spacewalks in a uh, very clear pool. Yeah. And you see bubbles and shit. Like, it's hilarious. Maybe I'll put that clip in real quick. So uh, the next thing that I want to get to is that there was a man that was in the middle of one of the ceremonies yes. that slightly, not slightly, completely resembled the character, the alchemist. We already talked about the phoenix symbol of alchemy. The alchemist in Alejandro Jodorowsky's film, The Holy Mountain. Um, the alchemist had control over the people. The alchemist was the magician. Um, and right. you see again the man dressed in white robes with a black hat. Um, so it, it's, it's blatant. It's right in your face. It's the same shit. It's just as blatant and in your face as the flat earth shit is and all the other occult symbolism, the cubes and the pyramids, man. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So There's now no, it's not a coincidence. There's no other thing that it could be. No, not at all. That's what it is. It's it, a fact right there. Um, the next thing would be during the parade of athletes. Now this was a huge event. The fact that the North Koreans and the South Koreans were marching together under a unified Korean flag. Right. Um, and it was everybody was saying how beautiful a moment this was. And the Olympic president, the IOC president, his name is uh, da, 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 Thomas Bach. He commented and said this can be an example for the world. Um, basically saying Break the that fact, down for us. Basically saying the fact that you had two nations that are now coming together. This is like globalization. This was kind of prepping people for the idea of having a one world government. New world order, baby. Um, if they can start with, with something as simple as two nations like Korea and people are accepting of it, why can't they start doing it more exactly. and more? Exactly. Um, so it was kind of like a test run that that they were they were talking about there. And they've been doing this since like the 80s. They've been... Every, like, few Olympics or whatever, they march under a unified flag. Exactly. So it's just a build-up, you know? The whole world's a stage, man. This is all, like, Hollywood shit. Basically, in order to control your mind. Yeah. It reminds me very much of the movie Independence Day. Yeah. When they have the alien threat and then the whole Earth unites. Comes together to... To fight the outside threat. Yeah. So the next thing, which is a common thread at all of these Olympics, is uh, the all-seeing eye. Now, there were two different instances of this. I'm going to get back to North Korea and South Korea in a minute. Can't have an Olympics without the all-seeing eye. No, no. So a couple spots, it shows up. Uh, one I'm going to get to in a minute because there was some transhumanism that they used. Yeah. Uh, yep. There was an all-seeing eye in that, but we'll get to that after the break. 
Um, but the next one is the cauldron itself. Now I think that that's uh, that's funny. The fact that they call it the cauldron, the the Casting eternal spells, flame, witches, witchcraft from a cauldron. Here you have the eternal flame. You see that on the Statue of Liberty. You see that in gas stations. You like you see it on like, JFK's tomb in movies on like Paramount Pictures or whatever. Exactly. Um, it's a common theme that they use. Yeah, man. So here is the it's eternal It's basically flame. like the light bearer, Lucifer, exactly. Satan, Satan worship. Here's the all-seeing eye in the cauldron. And if you put, uh, I sent him a video, we're going to put a picture up of it. The cauldron itself next to an eyeball with like the nerves and coming out of the retina and yep. everything. It's an exact model. It looks kind of like DNA too. How like yeah, the nerves twisted. Twist. It's it's pretty crazy that they just have this eye right there. No, there's no such thing as coincidence, man. No. Like all these things that we talk about on this podcast are little puzzle pieces that all fit together into the grand scheme of what the fuck is going on, man. Exactly. Um, we're gonna take a break real quick. When we come back, I'm gonna finish up talking about the. Uh, the actual opening ceremony and some of the events that have gone on during the week, during the games themselves. I can't wait, man. We'll be right back. Revival Radio.
Welcome back, everybody, to episode 41 of Revival Radio. CMAS in the building. Chip. So, we've been talking about the Illum Olympics, the yes, Winter sir. Games, and how, once again, you have Illuminati symbolism, black witchcraft, spell casting, all right occult in your face. Occult rituals, man. It's all occult rituals, it's man. It's interesting, man. It's super interesting. And you see it everywhere. As we talked about before, you see it at the Super Bowl. You see it at the Grammys. You see it at the MTV Awards. You see it everywhere. The World Cup, Super Bowl, everything, man. So. Wake the fuck up, man. Like, it comes to a point where after seeing the same thing recycled over and over again, yeah. it's always the same stories, man. It is. You know, like, you have to wake up to the shit at some point or otherwise, you know, you're insane. Doing mm -hmm. the same shit over and over again. Yep. Groundhog Day. Yep. That's that's where we're at right now in 2018. Um. So now we get to the big crescendo of the entire the entire games or the entire opening ceremony, and that was with the children with their wands, who were casting the spells into the sky right. to show the big theme was Korea's past, Korea's future, Korea's present. So here we are going into the future, and what do we see but transhumanism? We see the perfect human. We see cyborg humans with the, the eye, the all-seeing eye glowing. Here it is right in our face what they want the ultimate goal to be. Now, is this is this the Matrix? Or is this literally they want to turn us into robots? Because it's, I've heard It's hard to say, man, because I feel like if you watch movies, mm -hmm. sci-fi, fantasy, shit like that, They've been preparing us, even books, man. You know, uh, AI, Space Odyssey, yeah, man, 2001. Yeah. I mean, this has been the agenda for a long time, yes. and we're starting to get to the point now where this shit's starting to become reality. And so here they are showing it in these games, showing them in these features. Because it makes it less of a blow. It's predictive programming. Exactly. It's getting your mind used to the idea exactly. so it's easier to accept. Why do you think they've been training our minds to accept this for 50 years, 60, 70 years? You can't just come out one day and be like, oh, you know, like all the sex robots and shit exactly. that they have going on exactly. right now. Like, watch the show Altered Carbon, man. Like, all the shit that we're that talking dope, about. Man. It's all transhumanism. We've been waiting to have our homies Ick Flair and I'm sure he's the Black gonna Mage. This. I'm sure they're going to beat so this, So we got to set that up and do this transhumanism episode um, here pretty It's soon. interesting, but here they are showing it. Um, now, now, something that was said that I found kind of alarming to me yeah, um, man. Yeah. was said during the opening ceremonies by Mike Tirico. Um, and it was during, I believe, the marching in of North Korea and South Korea, or maybe he was talking about how it was coming up. Right. And he said that hundreds of thousands or millions of lives are on the line. Like, that more than likely people are going to die, and that this right here is a moment for them to enjoy before it happens. Basically talking about the tensions between the U.S. and North Korea, right? Exactly, but... Here we are again, them saying things that are going to happen. Here it is again, predictive programming. Predictive programming. It's it's terrible, man. Again and this. again and again. We every episode since we've done that episode, we've mentioned predictive programming. Mm -hmm. This is a fact, people. You guys got to catch on. Now you can notice late. it yourselves. You can see it. You can see the fact that we're talking about the same narratives over and over. You should be able to recognize the patterns. Facts. Um, now, the final what else thing. You got, boy? The final thing that I wanted to talk about for the Olympics, because, you know, we're only a week in. Like, there's still tons of time for yep. more stuff to happen. Yep. Um, would be Sean White in the uh, snowboard halfpipe finals. We had a little synchronicity between the two of us. We did. With we, that. we both hit each other up about the same thing. Uh, and that was right before Sean White's final run uh, when he took the gold. And the commentator said that you couldn't have scripted it any better. Now, what did we just talk about? Scripted sports, fake sports. 
Here it is, right in your face, the perfect story, the perfect narrative. Can you say vindicated? From falling down and blowing it in Sochi to having this beautiful run here in South Korea. And it all comes down to all this shit that's literally like the the, the odds. Exactly. Of the one Japanese dude falling. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sean White had a bang and run, right? He, he qualified did. the day before or whatever, like the best. The qualifiers were fucking badass, man. You know, like earlier in the year, too, he got... A, a perfect hundred score, which I think is the first time ever yeah, that that's happened. And dude you know, tore shit up. I can't take that. When away. shit like that happens, you gotta just be like, you already gotta know that. Yeah, you're dude. fucking with the MK Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking with like a, Michael Phelps, man. You're fucking with like an Straight Usain Michael Phelps. Boat, Bolt, Woo. like grown in a test tube to do this kind of shit. It's just the perfect, the perfect story, man. The fact that watch the qualifying the day before. The perfect story, man. Watch, the watch, perfect storm. Watch the day before the battle between Sean Sean White, Scotty James, and Ayumu Hirano. Uh, because that was the real fucking competition, bro. Yeah, it was. They went hard. So these dudes who were so perfect the day before, now they fucking fall in their last round. Everyone's fallen. When the pressure's on the line, they both fall. You, Come on, man. You know what else I noticed? I didn't bring this up yet. Did you notice the Australian guy? Yeah. That was a woman. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> I don't We're think gonna so. have to put up a picture of this fool. I'm gonna have to find Scotty. out who this fool is because oh that was God. a woman, baby. <laughs> so anyway, in conclusion, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy watching this shit because I love watching curling, man, and I love watching it. These dudes are fucking athletes not the curlers well, i guess they are <laughs> but like the ski jumpers and shit i love watching it but just yeah, recognize yeah, and we love snowboarding you go snowboarding it's just like watch the sports man exactly like, we know all it know is. that it's fucked up it's just a game like exactly it's all controlled by the mafia it's all controlled by the government especially yeah, the olympics man so just the new world order be just, aware Look at the things that they are putting in your face and know what it is. It doesn't mean you can't like it. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Exactly, um, man. So real quick before we get out of here, did you want to talk about SpaceX at all? Do we have time in this? I mean, uh, we're getting segment. pretty close to the end. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about a little thing, a couple things that happened. I mean, we came out and we talked about the SpaceX shit. We did. We said it was fake. Mm-hmm. Guess what happened the fucking day after? What's that? Vindication, man. <laughs> this shit was proven fake. I'm gonna put up all the videos and shit so you guys can see for yourselves that they switched the live feeds, man. They edited their live feeds, which nobody else can do. Okay. Especially if you're that big. It says in the YouTube uh, guidelines and shit that if you have over 100,000 views, right. you can't even trim the, the ends of your videos, live videos, to fucking st and still be live. Like, you could trim it, but it's going to say an edited video. Damn. So guess what SpaceX did, man? What's that? They got to fucking trim their video. It went from like 35 minutes down to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. The next day. They also got to change two other things. They had two screens on there that um, were showing the same exact thing, except that they were off by one frame, which is kind of deceptive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they also showed... When the big crescendo and everything was supposed to happen, when the star man came out and the fucking spaceship opened up and the car came out. Right. Um, they fucked that up. And uh, now, when you go and watch it, it's not fucked up. They fixed it. They fixed it. They had the maps up instead of the big crescendo... And the audience clapping in the background, but you couldn't see them. And now everything's fine, man. And it still says live. They still have exactly how many fucking million views that they had in the first place. Yeah. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Dude. Nobody else can do this. This is blatant proof that Elon Musk, SpaceX, and 
even space flight in general is fucked up, man. Like, yeah, man. But anyway, we got to get out of here. We just bo lost both of our other streams. We're coming up on the end here. So, uh, don't forget, Murder by Numbers is available February 23rd. Yeah. We will have it. That's next week. That's next Friday. We will have it on Saturday, 224, Baltimore Championship Wrestling, Urban Warfare 2. Come on out, see your boys. Go watch the music video for Murder My Numbers. Leave a comment, share, subscribe, like the channel. Pre-order your fucking CDs and pre-order your t-shirts. We have a special deal going on. Everybody stay tuned on the Revival Radio Facebook pages because we are going to be live streaming and do lots of cool stuff coming up. Everybody, once again, much love. Thank you for tuning in. Revival Radio. Peace. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Um, and, you know, the, the, the colors all look, look kind of weird in space. There's no atmospheric occlusion. You know, you know like, everything looks too crisp. Um, and, um, but, we you know, we didn't really test any of those materials for, you know, is it space hardened or whatever, you know. So it just has the same seats that, like, a normal car has. It's just literally a normal car in space, which I kind of like the absurdity of that. Um, and if you look closely, there's a, on the dashboard, there's a tiny roadster with a tiny spaceman. <laughs> so, because Hot Wheels made a Hot Wheels roadster, and a, and a friend of mine uh, um, suggested, hey, why don't you put that Hot Wheels roadster with a tiny spaceman on the, you know, in the car too? I'm like, that'd be cool. Sure. <laughs> so we did that. Um, I mean, it's kind of silly and fun, but I, I think. I think that's, you know, silly fun things are important. Um, and <laughs> normally for a new rocket, you know, they'd launch like a block of concrete or something like that. I mean, that's so boring. <laughs> um, and uh, I think that's just the imagery of it is something that's going to get people excited around the world. Um, and it's, it's still tripping me out. I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> <laughs>
Trust is a hard thing and you'll wind up dead for it There's one that's in my mind What's the time? It don't matter Cause the time is always now So no time to fucking frown I'm never looking down Always climbing up that ladder Till I go up in my ship and leave in another dimension Cause I can't be fenced in I'm in my highest senses They want us dead cause we forsake our beds Packed our bags and went on that road And it was cold till we stole the fire from the guys like Prometheus it's my path and nigga, I'm leading it I'm a master magician Well versed in the ancient tradition You can find me on the moor with my shore premonition Appear in your mirror like a ghostly apparition I'm a master magician Learn the craft through years of repetition Performing ceremonies, rituals, and visions Yeah, you got it right Look into my crystal ball and be arisen like the Christ I'm not normal, got a mind like the ancients Respect to my ancestors, the only ones I pray with They say, keep the haze split in endless rotation so that's what I'm doing on a daily basis I had a brain shift from a crystal grid on my altar The centerpiece is a chalice full of holy water Slow it down, I said I'm smoking on that Jimmy Carter Presidential course, didn't get it off the street I got it from a farmer Then I want to harm her She was there when I couldn't breathe now they cut and I don't bleed Cause it's never what it seems People always trying to get in between I misperceive like Halloween Ancient text I'm reading it Can't care if you believe in it The universe I'm breathing in What's your reasoning? I put in too much work I put my keys in it And now I'm seeding it My life bro I'm seizing it I'm a master magician well versed in the ancient tradition You can find me on the moor with my sure premonition Appear in your mirror like a ghostly apparition I'm a master magician Learn the craft through years of repetition Performing ceremonies, rituals, and visions Yeah, you got it right Look into my crystal ball and be arisen like the Christ Love is so wrong, then that means I'm so right I'm getting so gone to reach newer heights So to get to the sky, roll up, ignite They can come and kill me, but I'm going with a fight All I show is the real me, but they don't like the light If all you have to do is get the knowledge Then why they turn us to slaves just to get through college? All that death didn't sound right to me so I left and found peace now I'm the wildest But I went through space and stopped acting childish You put all your value in your wallet From this world I had to take a diet If I'm so wrong why all the smoke in the air Making everyone drop all of their cares Hurt to get to heaven gotta climb the stairs But with my mind I'm always there I don't wanna be 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 Who wants to yeah. be? Who wants to be? I don't wanna be right if loving you is wrong That's why I'm smoking on a spliff as I write this song Rather be dust than just if I can't have your love So I'd lay down my life and i do it just because I've had enough when will we ever stand up? Stop playing the victim, little homie man up And even if we don't come together I'll still be there all alone in any weather On the brink of genius, stepped outside of the ring I don't care what you think, I'm gonna do my own thing When I'm on the mic, try to raise your vibration Find the center of your mind and erase it Let's start again new, all we know is lies I won't be controlled another day of my life Said I'm leaving and I'm never coming back So I ain't gonna waste what little time I have I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be, 
They tried to take my rights away, ay. now they try and take my joy away, ay. but what they don't know is that we're ready, fully loaded, aiming steady. They tried to take my rights away, ay. now they try and take my joy away, ay. but what they don't know is that we're ready, fully loaded, aiming steady. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be I don't wanna be Who wants to be? Who wants to be?